All right, hey, this is Hogan Brown with Loon Outdoors, and we're gonna be tying the uh, red-headed stepchild. It's one of my, uh, probably one of my favorite patterns. I came up with this fly to uh, fish behind a uh, pretty famous guide in our neck of the woods, Mr. Lonnie Bowles. And uh, one of his favorite flies was a uh, red copper john. So I had to come up with something a little sneakier, but still combined a bunch of those fish catching elements. So we're going to start out with a 3769, like a basic nymph hook. Okay. Um, short shank, strong wire, uh, a red glass bead. And then we are going to use camel a dot thread. Okay. We're going to take that thread, start it right behind the bead, making sure to kind of stack each thread wrap right next to each other. Okay. One of the reasons I think this fly is so effective is because it is trim. Okay, it works as a good mayfly imitation, uh, as does the red copper john, but the red copper john is going to be a little thicker, a little bulkier. It's not going to have that kind of trim silhouette. So for the tails, I'm going to take about anywhere from five to six uh, pheasant tail fibers, set them right on top, and lay those thread wraps clean right next to each other. Okay, this is probably one of the more important parts of the fly is just being clean and efficient with those thread wraps, making sure they're set right next to each other. Next thing I'm going to do is grab some small red uni wire. Okay. And I'm going to use this as a rib. And again, one cool thing about this fly, if you... Uh, you know, this is a total guide fly. You can tie this thing in many different colors. So I'm going to lay that wire right next to the hook shank. And again, wrap that thread forward, keeping them nice and trim. So you can combine any real color of thread or wire and really make this fly your own. It can, it's a great betis pattern if you want to make it in olive or PMD. Um, really whatever you want to do. I'm going to palmer this forward about halfway up the hook shank. Basic normal mayfly. Proportions. Trim it. Then I'm going to take a piece of medium pearl flash. I'm going to set that right on top. Okay, if you're not familiar with it, right, Mirage Tinsel. Okay, medium opal Mirage Tinsel. Any real flash material will work though. Um, you use Flashaboo, anything. Um, that you want to use as a wing case. You could even use a knot, like a goose by it. It's also a really good wing case if you want to kind of make it a little more stealthy, not as flashy. Then I'm going to take three pieces, peacock curl, tie them in at the tips. Trim like that. Take those, palmer them, and again in a lot of this fly I would say less is more. So you don't have to use all, all of the peacock curl. Get a nice little abdomen, trim it, then I'm going to take a piece of red, red crystal flash folded in half. These are going to be its legs. Tie one in, then kind of tie the other using a figure eight wrap to kind of pin those back. 
Give them a few extra wraps if they need it. Then take that wing case, that tinsel, pull it over, tie it down, give it a few wraps in front, trim it, and then tie it off. And that is Hogan's red-headed stepchild. You're going to trim the legs just like that. Great attractor, a little bit of red, a little bit of peacock, a bit of pheasant tail, deadly combo. Can't go wrong with any of those. It's Hogan Brown from Loon Outdoors. Have a good one.